skewness is all about the way that the data leans. Okay, so if you've got a set of data where you may well have graphed it, okay, it may well be that you've drawn a frequency diagram that might look something like this, okay, kind of like a bar chart, but the bars are next to each other, okay. Here is a frequency diagram, it may have drawn something like this, or Let's say instead that it looks something like this. Okay, there was my two sets of data. In this case, you can see that it is leaning to the left, and in this case, it's leaning towards the right. What you are interested in with looking for skewness is looking for the tail. The direction of the tail tells you what type of skewness it is. So this is like having a tail that's going that way. And this is like having a tail that's going that way, okay, towards the left. So because this is going in the positive direction, we call this positive skew. And because this is going in the negative direction, we call that negative skew. Okay? So, it doesn't have to be graphical. It could be numerical as well. You could have uh, it as a frequency table. So, if we have score and frequency, and the scores were 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... And the frequencies were going 10, 20, 50, 80, 100, and 60, for example. Then because if you could imagine that as a frequency, a frequency diagram, it would look similar to this. And you could see that the tail is running off in the negative direction. And so this would have negative skew. So it doesn't matter whether you're looking at it from a gra graphical point of view or from a table, you should be able to, be able to identify the skew.